Hi everybody and welcome to the next instalment of the Badger Vlog. Uh, this episode is going to be on credit unions. What are they? Why use one? Are they any good? Uh, and as I've just been trying to discover, what's the difference between a credit union and a building society? Well, credit unions were started back in the 1960s in the UK, 1962 I believe, and uh, they've currently got, I think as I read correctly, about 217 million members, that's worldwide. Uh, in the UK I believe it's one or two million members, but uh, they, they do very, very well. And they are like building societies insofar as they are run solely by their members for their members. They're not there to make a profit for the shareholders. So they're just for you. If you're a member, uh, you have to be bound by a common interest. So you may all work for the same employer. Um, you may have the same interest hobby in, 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 in common, but you will have something in common to form the union. It may just be the geographical area that you live in. And if there's not enough of you, you can make a geographical area. So Credit unions are there basically for their members, by their members, and everyone who works there is a member as well. Uh, as far as I can see, the, the only difference between them and a mutual building society, very, very careful here in the UK, because back in the early 1990s, there was a load of carpet bagging going on. What we called carpet bagging back then was doing mortgages at the time. And all the building societies in the country used to be mutual building societies. That is, they were done for the mutual benefit of their members, owned by the members for the members and not there to make a profit uh, or for shareholders. They could make a profit, but that would then be redistributed around the members not the shareholders so a really good idea then the government allowed them Thatcher's government I believe allowed them to uh, to go PLC so what happened was everybody joined uh, so they could get a couple of thousand quid when they when they went PLC um, that's all kind of finished now so in this country Building societies, you've got to be careful. There's only a couple left, I think, that are still mutuals, the Nationwide being one of them. I have my current account with the Nationwide just for that reason. You know, I know that the money that I'm giving them is going around the members. It's not paying someone in a foreign country who just happens to have loads of money and they've bought some shares. No, no, no. For the members, by the members. So the main difference between a building society and a credit union, as long as they're both mutual, is that building societies also provide mortgages. They should be about the same in terms of providing bank accounts, loans, savings. Um, the di big difference being that, of course, a, a mortgage is a very large loan secured on a house, and that's really the preserve of building societies and not a credit union, as far as I can make out. So how would you go about joining one? I would suggest you probably use a certain engine and um, put that in my local credit union and you will find the nearest one but it might be that there's one that represents your trade body or something like that um, used to be one of the disadvantages especially if you wanted to take out something like a loan with a credit union was that you'd have to go in person open an account have an account maybe for a year or six months before they'd even consider letting you have a loan not so now. There are ones where you can open an account online, deposit a bit of money, a couple of quid, and then you're eligible for a loan. So uh, you've got to look, look for those, seek and you shall find, and they're all out there. In a nutshell, that's what is a credit union. It is a financial institution that is owned and run by its members for its members. No shareholders. Go get an account. See you next time. Bye bye.